I'm Rebecca Kanafka, Ag Agent in Carter County, and welcome to Around the Farm. Today we're going to be talking about cedar apple rust. And I'm Philip Kanafka, I'm the Ag Agent in Lewis County. Usually after a rainy period in early spring, my phone starts ringing off the hook with calls of what are these orange blobs on my cedar tree. Cedar apple rust is the most common and economically important rust disease of apple trees. It also affects crab apple, pear, mountain ash, hawthorn, quince, and serviceberry. Primary infections of apple trees occur between the early leaf expansion to pink bud stage to 30 days post bloom. Damp conditions and 50 to 60 degree weather favor disease development. Leaf symptoms begin as small pale yellow spots under the upper leaf surface. Spots then become enlarged to brightly yellow orange, often with reddish borders. In late spring or early summer, the small orange tubular fruiting bodies project from the lower sides of the leaves. Severely infected leaves may drop prematurely. Infected fruit can exhibit similar symptoms as the leaves with spots being much larger than the leaves. The fruits may also become deformed and drop prematurely. Cedar apple rust is caused by a fungus that requires alternate hosts to complete its life cycle. The pathogen overwinters in cedar and juniper trees. So in late summer, the apple trees will produce spores that will infect your cedar or juniper trees, which will result in the formation of galls. In, in spring, after a wet period, the galls will form these yellow orangey tubules that are slimy. They are called spore horns. It takes two years for the galls to develop and mature in order to produce spores that will reinfect apple trees. As summer goes on and we find these galls, we can remove them from our cedars and junipers, and that will help prevent later infections in seasons to come. Because once we get cedar apple rust on our apple trees, there's not very many options for management. Right, so one thing that you can do is to plant cultivars that are resistant to cedar apple rust. A good healthy plant is always gonna be less susceptible to diseases, so make sure we have proper nutrition and proper irrigation during the dry summer months. You can also remove wild or unmanaged cedar or juniper trees that are near your apple trees. And obviously don't plant your apple tree right beside your cedar tree like in this situation. And as we mentioned before, make sure you come in and prune these galls out. Uh, that will help prevent the source of inoculation for future trees. There are some fungicides that can be sprayed preventively from pink bud stage to 30 days post bloom. And if you're a homeowner, you may use a chemical that contains microbutin or mancozeb. And any time that you use a fungicide, please make sure you follow the label. For more information about cedar apple rust or other fruit tree diseases, check out the UK Plant Pathology page or contact your local county extension office.